Friction folders might seem to be an anachronism in today's era of sophisticated locking mechanisms. But let's not forget that the very first folding knives were friction folders. We know for example from archaeological finds that the ancient Romans had them. Welcome to my review of two friction folders by the French knife maker Olivier Montariol. He owns a cutlery store in the historic center of Foix. Foix is a city in the Ariège department in southwestern France in the midi pyrenees region near the border to Spain and Andorra. The cutlery store is called Savignac, named after the family that owned the business in the 20th century. The business is even older, in fact it's a lot older. The origins date back to the year 1754. In his workshop in the rear of the store, Olivier Montariol manufactures several lines of traditional folding knives, among them the models L'Ariégeois and Le Cata. Let's start with the Ariégeois. This knife is available in different sizes and configurations. I've got two of the regular size models one with black horn tip and a hand forged carbon steel blade and another one with blonde horn tip and a stainless steel blade. The blade steel is the well proven steel 12C27 from Sweden. The Ariégeois knife and the Ariège department are named after the river Ariège. The design of the knife refers to a famous knife model that has been around for centuries in the Pyrenees, Le Capucin. The name Capucin is derived from a group of friars named the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin, an offshoot from the Franciscans who wear brown robes with large hoods covering their heads. And as you can see, this part of the handle resembles a hood. One of the earliest pictures and descriptions of this knife pattern can be found in a book about the art of cutlery from 1772, written by Monsieur Fougerou de Bondaroy. In this book, the knife is called Un Couteau à Deux Clous, a knife with two pins. And here it is. The Arigeois follows this tradition. There are only two pins as well, a pivot pin and a stop pin. That's all. No spring. No lock, it's a very simplistic design. As for the size, the closed length is 115 mm, the total length is 200 mm. The blade length is 85 mm and the blade thickness is 3 mm. The knife weighs a lightweight 52 grams. The handle is made from one piece of horn The blade is kept open by the friction between the blade and the handle. Additionally, you can put your finger on the tang and while you are cutting, the tang gets pushed against the stop pin. So with a little caution, you can use a friction folder like any other knife. 
you wouldn't want to use this kind of knife for heavy duty cutting tasks anyway. The blade shape resembles a sage leaf. The blade is flat ground and comes with a satin finish. The carbon steel model features a mirror polish. Please note the file work on the spine of the blade. The second friction folder is called Le Qatar. It's also available in two sizes and with different materials. This one is the small version, Le Petit Qatar. Again, it's the same basic design. A handle, two pins and a blade. The handle is made of one piece of olive wood The blade is carbon steel. The name of the knife refers to a very special period in French or rather European history. The Cathars were the followers of a dissident church that flourished in several parts of Europe during the early medieval period. By the 11th century there were Cathar believers all over Europe. But the one place where the Cathar church really flourished was southwestern France. Especially the castle of Montségur in the Ariège department became famous because of a nine-month siege of the Cathar-held castle by French royal forces. After the castle surrendered, over 200 Cathars were burned in a bonfire on the 16th of March 1244. So, a lot of history is going on here with these two knives, both cutlery history and world history. Should you ever plan a trip to the French Pyrenees, make sure you visit the Savignac Cutlery Store in Foix. Say hello to Olivier Montariol and buy one of his knives. Or simply visit the Savignac website and order them from there. I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson. Thanks for watching.